Hi, my name is Alex and in this video I will show you my home server. I will show you what services I'm running, I will show you the hardware, I will show you the case and I will show you the airflow of the case. So stay tuned and let's check it out. So this is how my case looks like and let's see what's inside. So my server usually sits in this position and let's check what's inside so i have two noctua ns 12b fans which one one fan i'm using for the intake and uh, the second fan i'm using for exhaust and uh, the second fan is sitting on top of the nokia c12 radiator which I paired with a Nokia NF14 fan and basically the airflow will be like that. Let me remove this cover here. And so since the server is uh, sitting in this position, this fan will uh, draw the air inside and these two fans will exhaust the air as you can see also I have uh, a small power supply which is uh, gold efficiency I will uh, show you the exact components when uh, I will uh, present you what hardware I did use also I have two NVMe card adapters it, this is a PCI Express X1 because in order to had have a uh, a card which will support multiple NVMe drives, you should have motherboard which supports bifurcation. But overall, I'm very happy with this case. If I want to convert this PC in a gaming PC, I can do it very easy by adding a a GPU here. This case is also very good. You can see other reviews online because you can this case can be either you can have the bottom in the, on this side or you can have the bottom on this side and this is very modular and you see that everything is almost everything is removable from it so let's jump and see what is the exact hardware which i'm running here so you saw how my server looks it's time to see what you can do with it so first of all I'm uh, running Proxmox on my server and I have a couple of uh, virtual machines and LXC containers so I have my home assistant virtual machine and you can see that it doesn't need more than two CPUs and four gigs of RAM also have my media machine which is using uh, I assigned it to use 10 gigs of RAM and 4 CPUs. And after that, my GNS machine, which is have the most resources, which is uh, 12 CPUs and 32 gigs of RAM. Also, I have a proxy. And I have a internal DNS server, which I'm using to resolve my, uh, my domains which and i have a domain assigned for each service which i'm uh, running in my house so for example for home assistant you can see that the domain is ha.mztnetwork.com so if we speak about the hardware you can see i'm using a core i5 13500 which is a 14 core cpu and what I why I took this one because it's very energy efficient and um, it has 14 cores but it also has 20 CPU threads and uh, because I'm using this server for uh, home lab I need as much threads as I can get also I have a Corsair SF850 small form factor uh, power supply it's very nice 
a little bit on the expensive side, but it's uh, it's very nice because it your server will consume less energy. And as you can see, this um, power supply is 80 plus platinum, so it's 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 good. I'm using multiple Kingston NV2 uh, SSDs. I have two two terabytes, one four terabyte. Um, I think I have one one terabyte, and I also have a uh, two point five inch uh, two terabyte SSD and another 2.5 inch 250 gigs which I'm using as a uh, boot drive for the memory I'm using Kingston which is uh, 64 gigabytes DDR4 and uh, this I got this server for two or three years now and uh, this is what I got when I first built it and I also have several or two um, NVMe to PC adapter cards because I need it for memory. So, as you can see, right now my server and my router are both consuming 46.6 watts, which means I know for sure that my router is consuming somewhere around 20 watts because it's a uh, big powerful router so my server would consume some somewhere around 25 27 and maybe 30 or 30 something when it is under a load so let me show you what i'm running inside my biggest virtual machine or my media virtual machine I am running a image server which is basically a server that uh, that works exactly like uh, Google Photos and basically you are uploading all of your photos inside this image server and it works really well it has a dedicated iPhone application and it's it's nice. I also have a file browser which uh, I'm using to access my files remotely. I have um, Plex server, which uh, you know for what you use Plex server for movies. And I have the full version of uh, Plex server because uh, I configured this uh, virtual machine to also do transcoding. So, with my Plex server, I also have the Qubit Torrent, which is uh, used to obtain movies, and Radar and Sonar, which is used to, for example, Sonar. It's it is used to automatically download and to manage all of my movies and uh, I mean TV shows and uh, Radar is used to automatically download and manage my TV shows my movies also have Overseer which is a uh, tool that is used to control both Radar and Sonar so basically you just Click on a movie, hit request, and after a while, it the movie will appear downloaded on your server. Also, I have, like I mentioned, I have my um, internal DNS server, and which I also use to, to do some uh, ad blocking. Right now I have disabled ad blocking, but some sometime in the future I, I might re-add it. And as I mentioned, the local DNS server. I will not show you my DNS records. And let me show you the last thing, which is 0 0.7 port 81. It's the Nginx proxy manager. Nginx Proxy Manager will basically 
redirect traffic based on the subdomain and domain to the correct server. So everything that I have set up here, everything is uh, using Docker. So on my media my virtual machine, I'm uh, using Docker to, to run all of my uh, to run off all of my services. Home Assistant is a standalone virtual machine and DNS and proxy is uh, those are LXC containers which which are very lightweight and which are consuming very less resources. If you want me to post instructions on how to install different services on uh, your home server or if you want me to help you to install the services on your own home server or if you need help choosing the right home server for you, just hit the comment section of the video and I will try to help you with all of your questions. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe as this encourages me to further create content for you. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.